in search of awesome, and we found some awesome sauce to the 10th power. My very good friend, Deanna Williams, she was on probably a year or so ago. She's out to do tonight in a little bit of an encore with some of her team and her partner, Sarah Peru, who I've been waiting to have on the show for the longest time. She was she had to take a little bit of a sabbatical, but she's here tonight with some of her prodigies, you guys. They are from Genesis Salon and Spa, Mobile, Alabama, uh, and both of them, salon owner Deanna and Sarah. Their coach, they give a lot of claim to fame to Randy Kunkel. Peter Millard was just in their uh, company along uh, with uh, his team to do a complete uh, redesign. And, of course, Dana Deason, who is one of my favorite coaches in the whole wide world summit, she's in there uh, helping them blow it up as well. Let me tell you, they've been on a roll, a big-time roll. Uh, in 2018, they cracked the infamous $1 million mark. Now, I want you to really pay attention to what I'm pointing to. In 19, which is this is a year now, 1.4. So in one year, they have grown their revenues from the some of the things that they're going to be talking about tonight by 40%. And that they've been in business a long time, so you got to be you have your ultrasound hearing aids on tonight, guys, to really see what these guys are up to. They're, what they're doing is very, very innovative. Salon runs at about the $93 average ticket. RTS is at 18 points. Salon new. I mean, part of why they're growing is they're growing 20% uh, of their total guest count is new, uh, rebooking at about 55%. Now, Sarah is also a level five. She works with uh, a number of apprentice uh, and, and associates she's going to be talking about. Uh, she's got some of her prodigies uh, with her as well. Her average service ticket is running at 112. Her RTS is 22. She now has become uh, the referral rainmaker in the salon, and a lot of the referrals that are coming in from what she's doing on uh, social media is, uh, you know, is feeding other people at other levels that are growing as well. And she's rebooking big time. Now, uh, I want to do a little bit of the storytelling for them because I want to get them to uh, really talk about Apprenticeship Associates. So Deanna, as you can see, gets her license in 2000. She opens up Genesis in 2009. So they've been in business 10 years, and in their 10th year, they grow 40%. Go figure. I mean, that's a big deal. She starts out with 1,100 square feet. Six stylist. She comes to Summit in 2010, and the rest is history. I think she. This is her second or third time she's upgraded. I think she told me she went from. She'll she'll help me get it straight from 1,100 to what was it, 5,000 square feet, and now they're uh, 7,500 or something. But it's it's a big deal, and uh, uh, they. Uh, it, it, and as far as uh, Sarah, her partner, graduates from cosmetology school in 2010. Starts at Genesis the same year as New Talent. Had some really big goals, teaming up, and now uh, her and uh, Deanna together, I think they're changing lives. I, I would call them as much of a college of human transformation as a salon spa company. So there you have it. They're in the back. They're together as a posse. We got them in the, uh, the digital green room. We're going to go get them, and I'm going to get these two talking about it, and then we're going to talk to some of their prodigies. So keep your fingers crossed and make sure – that um, the Wi-Fi gods are helping us out tonight. Denny, why don't you give it up for you guys? How are you? Good, how are you? Great, did you hear me bragging on you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, they're all huddled up and this is called World Class Team tonight. So we've got, uh, we've got, two, uh, two, we got two Master Jedis in the house, Deanna um, and Sarah. And then we, we, we also have a graduate of the, um, of the Apprenticeship Associate Program. Brittany is over here. She's now at a level five. And uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, Joanna and Brianna. Are, there they are. And they are currently going through the Apprentice uh, Associate Program as well. So we've got a lot to talk about tonight. Um, and I want to start with uh, Deanna and uh, Sarah, and tell us about a little bit about the history of Genesis, but how did this, this, this truly innovative idea called Apprenticeship Associate Program, what, what inspired us it, and where are you at with it today? Um, well, we were the first Summit Swans in Mobile, uh, Genesis was, uh, with Blake Kennedy um, 10, 11, 12 years ago, I guess it was. Um, I remember. So, Mobile has several summit salons. So 
uh, all of us believe in the associate program. Uh, so go into, into the schools and trying to, um, I don't want to use the word recruit because most of the time um, they come to us uh, wanting to interview and be a part of our team because they see us on social media. But it's really hard when you're trying to house so many associates in so many different um, salons. So we um, real competitive. Right. So we have just kind of, we had um, so many young girls coming to us saying, you know, hey, we just want to be a part of your team. Um, some of them just could not afford to be in school uh, and not be able to uh, financially, you know, make money. So we're like, hey, let's, let's start this. So we decided to start growing our own. So that's what we started. Doing. And, and it, was, it was right. It, literally, it was uh, earning as you're learning as an apprenticeship. Right. So taking people f right from where they're at in life and beginning them. And then I think you were telling me you integrated some of the associate program and you're in the middle of continuing to incubate this. Yes, we are actually. Um, we have definitely implemented the associate program into the apprenticeship program. I stepped away from the chair a few months ago after 20 years of doing hair. I was like, there's no time to be behind the chair, juggle almost 40 employees, go from 1,000 square feet to 5,000, now up to, you know, almost 6,500 because we're adding on to our salon. Um, yeah, we're adding, we're making our spa bigger. Um, so Peter Millard has been back down for the second time to um, help us make that even larger. So Sarah and I talked about it for a long period of time and um, she still is growing like crazy behind the chair. So I said I would be the one to step away and, and start helping uh, teach and implement the apprenticeship program to be able to grow our salon because we would like to go ahead and start on um, our second location and then our third location. So as soon as we're done with the spa, within a few months, we'll start on location number two. So nice. to be able to, to fill that second location, we need to grow these apprentices and these um, um, associates. Sarah, you have anything you want to add to what Deanna said? I mean, she's pretty much said it. Like, and what's really cool about about the associate training program and the apprenticeship and then the combination of the two is, I mean, it's a learning experience for us as well because, like, yeah, we're teaching them, but I always say that they teach us. I mean, it's yes. just like when you have kids. Like, yes. you, right. they right. teach so much about themselves. And, think, like, Joanna will ask me questions. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I forgot I knew that. Right. <laughs> Especially social media these yeah. days these young kids coming in here teaching us old school girls how to have a presence on social media and grow so much quicker than we ever thought about growing now I when, mean, when you you look at you two you two and myself we've talked a lot about this and there's two points that i that really blew my mind and one of them was because in your marketplace you don't have the quality of schools that other marketplaces had that that pretty much forced you. We got to get resourceful here and figure out how in the world are we going to incubate, you know, our, our new talent. But the biggie is unlike many, many salons, when you have people coming to to become part of your apprentice and then into your associate, there's times where their parents come in and, and th their parents are part of the interview. Talk about that. Yeah. I won't, um, I won't interview an 18, 19, 20 year old without the parents being there because um, they are such a force at home that they need to know exactly what we're teaching and promoting here that we need them to be their biggest cheerleaders at home. We don't need them to be against what we're trying to teach and coach here. They need to believe exactly what we believe, which is why the apprenticeship program is working so well um, when they're on the floor, because they're not learning a different style of teaching. They're learning what Summit says. Mm -hmm. So um, that parents are really on board with it. It's been really, it's awesome. Oh, I can, had, yeah, I, I mean, I can imagine that this would be, you know, for, and, and some of the stories that I've heard from, you know, your, your uh, apprentices and, and associates, and we're, we're going to flip over to Brittany here in a second, that once upon a time before I had this opportunity, my life was fragile. And, and now that I've had the opportunity or being offered the opportunity, these are people that are not the same people after a year, two, three, four years, that their, their lives have transformed. So I can just imagine that their parents, their family of origins, this is a big deal. Brittany, um, uh, 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 first of all, it's good to have you on tonight. And um, I'm going to take a sip of water here so I don't cough on you. 
<laughs> you were telling <clears throat> part of what I love about your story is you're at level five now. Yes. You're doing almost six, a six figure income on a W2. Mm -hmm. A handful of years ago, when you started this, you came from a life of you single parent and you're right. li and you went through the apprenticeship and the associate and now you're here. Talk about right. that. Um, well, it's been, it's been life-changing, truly. Um, the apprenticeship program is great. Um, it offers, it gives an opportunity for a lot of, you know, a lot of people that wouldn't have that opportunity otherwise to have a career that's lucrative, that they love, that can offer them, um, flexibility with their schedule like me as a single parent that was something that was that was hard oh my goodness um, and, and you started in 2009 and right. that's 10 years ago you're middle 30s now so you were in your mid 20s when you began right. with, with a couple of children as a single parent so this right. opportunity did, I mean you, you you know where you were at then to now the your income and and the life and I understand if I'm getting it right that you're you're either about to get married or you were just been married to it. Was it a preacher or something? Deanna was telling me. So there's a real story here, Britt. I mean, what what's it like? I'm getting goosebumps now as I'm talking about this. What is it like to be you now compared to then? And how has this miracle changed your life? Um, it's just every it's hopeful. Is so hopeful and becoming an educator myself and being able to raise up apprentices is such an awesome thing. Um, you know, to give people the opportunity that I had years ago, what is, I mean, it's, it's indescribable. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's big. I mean, it, it, one day you're going to have to do a, an autobiography because there's a real mm -hmm. story here that, that, that really is, transformation now i want to i want to and and how many people do you uh uh how many apprentices apprentice associates have you worked with since then and who are you working with today um i've i've worked with three so far um today my apprentice is an amazing young lady named Haley wickle who is not here with us today but um She's incredible and uh, watching her grow and learn and just um, being a part of her journey is is wonderful. It's a blessing. Oh, yeah. Now, we, we promised that Haley really wanted to be on and she just had something in her family come up. Haley is 18 years old. She, yes. you know, and, and she, you know, starts with you guys in 18. And so now, uh, Brittany, you're saying she's your associate. She'll be back for an encore next year. Um, That's right. But while you're right now, you're working with, did you tell me, was I hearing this right? Brianna is someone that you're working with as well or that you did no. work with? No, Brianna is is not working with me right now. Oh, okay. Brianna's with Alex, yes. but Brittany just got her second associate for today, today. So she has an apprentice and associate now. So she has two that she's working with at oh, one time. Oh, got it, got it, got it. And so I want to, I want to pivot over to Brianna to get Brianna talking about, because Brianna, you're currently in the Apprenticeship Associate Program, correct? Yes. And you're 19? Yes. And and how long have you been in uh, at Genesis in the, pro how far into it are you? I've only started my apprenticeship in, um, I think in June or July, I was working reception, front desk waiting for to get a license to come in first, but I've only been doing it since July now, and I'm fixing to start doing opportunity days within the next month, probably. Great. Oh, I see. So you're now just about to on-ramp the next phase of this, which is opportunity days. Yes, yes. And so you're, you're I mean, I was doing like the, the month count. It looks like you're about four months into this. And how long does it, how long is the actual track like how long are you on this before you graduated from it and you're on a floor how long did it uh how long did it uh uh take uh Brittany? it's normally about two years mc uh just depending on how many it's a, it's an hour thing that you have to keep up with 
But I also wanted to interject something with Brittany Fincher too, that whenever she finished the apprenticeship, she was actually an independent contractor. At that time, we were a blended salon many, many years ago. And so we went back, Sarah and I went back to Summit the second or third or fourth time. I can't, we've been several times. We took Brittany with us and she decided in 2016 to come back as a commission stylist. So only from 2016 to 2019, she's doubled everything. She started yes. with associates, has flown through the level system from level one to level five. Her RTS is crazy, the amount of money she's making. And she would not have been able to do all that without the sum the foundation of summit with the commission and having associates and extra hands to help. Wow. So this is going to be, this is music to the ears of many summit salon owners, because if I'm listening right, Brittany, you're saying when I went from being a self-employed to a summit commissioned, it was like it, it catapulted. It changed the, the, the financial trajectory of my life. I'm assuming that you know you're at the, you're you're just this side of a hundred thousand dollar W two for for nineteen. You you weren't anywhere close to that as Not self employed. No, I think at that summit, uh, the biggest epiphany for us because I remember especially me and Brittany looking at each other and being like mind blown was um, that they said y'all said um, no new clients means no new money and like it was kind of like the realization that as a blueprint or self-employed you would top out like yeah that you there's like a like a sweet spot but then it's it's done <laughs> you can't right you can't get past that and so you you have no more growth or no room for growth and that's when she was like i'm, I'm tired of sitting in the middle and she came back and all she, in. yeah she was oh. all in Yes. All in. Yeah, so, in. you know, reinvented and transformed. Now, I want to talk about Joanna uh, because you're, this is really interesting. You're in, you've been in the apprenticeship program. You're doing opportunity days, I believe. You're on the front yeah. end of 30 something, uh, you know, married, a child, uh, you're a child of one. What's it been like for you? What were you doing before this? And what inspired you to, to jump on this track? Okay, so I started out at our front desk part time, um, and I've always wanted to do hair. I just never really could afford to go to school and have the lifestyle that I wanted. So um, I did our front desk, and then just a year into it, I was like, I want to do hair. So Sarah was like, Well, come under me. So I went under Sarah and apprenticed, and it's exactly what I've wanted to do all my life. And she's wonderful. Yes. I get to make an income while doing it. And um, she was just on maternity leave. So I took a good chunk of her clients and I've been working with them for the past three months. And some of them have stayed with me, which I felt bad about, but she was like, that's the point of it. That's so, awesome. yes. I love yeah, it. I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, a, you know, the, the, the world doesn't know, Sarah, you took a, a, a sabbatical to have a, a baby and what was that? 60 days, uh, 90 days. And then while you were yeah. gone, um, yeah. The the uh, uh, you, um, Joanna uh, served your guest, and that was kind of uh, 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 greased the wheels for her. Kind of poured some mm -hmm. nitroglycerin on her bonfire, and she got off to an even faster start. Right. Yep. So she's actually about to help me. I'm getting a new associate in a couple weeks, and she's going to help me. We're training her, and then she's she's gone. <laughs> she's right. going to be a level. Yeah, she's gonna be a level one. Well, I say she's right behind her. <laughs> so is would would I? I don't want to be presumptuous, and yet I want to say this. I I'm assuming that there's very few, if any, salons in Mobile that uh, that have the kind of program. It's almost like you took the uh, an apprenticeship program, which has been around for many moons. It's just not used. You fused it with an associate program. And you've gotten what I think is like an atomic explosion, like a one plus one is 10. But there isn't any other salons in your marketplace that are doing this, are they? I mean, not that we Not know. to the extent yeah. that we're, we have not that we know like of. seven other apprentices and associates right now that we just couldn't feature everybody tonight. So we just kind of handpicked a few like really cool stories with Brianna being a homeschool for um, through her, her senior year. And then me, I started doing her hair and she would come in and I'd say, Brianna, just hang out with us a little bit since you don't know what you want to do with your future. 
and see if this could be the industry that you want to be in. And, and uh, she did. And so now she's an apprentice. Yeah. Now you and you were telling me about this, that what was it, Brianna or somebody yeah. was actually yeah. went through homeschool as a child yeah. all the way up to coming into That's Genesis. Cool. Who was that? Brianna, that's me. Oh, what a Brianna, you're gonna have to do an autobiography. <laughs> because just that experience to go through uh homeschooling rather than you know a public school system, that in and of itself is unique. That's profound. But you went from that right into Genesis into their apprenticeship associate program. Yes, I did. And I didn't necessarily not have a discernible life direction at the time, but it was totally like a fall in your lap situation. And I couldn't have been happier with how it all turned out. I, since January up until now, all of this has happened. And I started getting my hair done from Deanna before she stepped away from the chair and everyone just welcomed me with open arms. And they're like, listen, you should do hair. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, okay, well, I'm going to do it then. And right. the, I've just flown, I've absolutely loved doing this program. She's well, amazing. Yeah, well, at 19, when you really look at homeschooled all of your life, you went, you didn't go into any kind of post secondary, you know, the traditional college, and to do this. And if you stay on the trajectory uh, that uh, Brittany's been on, I mean, all you need to do is look at her W 2, it'll take your breath away. So, you, this is, you've got to be feeling very uh, vindicated, very. Like, uh, this has been like a, it's almost like a divine intervention for you. Yes, it is. I mean, most people my age barely even know what they're doing when they actually are going to college, much less, you know, I now feel like I have this like map of plan out in front of me. And even if I didn't have a discernible direction, all of the people here like can help me guide through all of this that I'm going through. And it's, I have absolutely nothing but hope for future. With well, this. well, this has been an, an extraordinary conversation we're having tonight. I'm gonna to ask you one more question and then I'm gonna wrap a bow around this. Uh, and I'm gonna direct this first and foremost to Deanna and, um, uh, you, uh, you, uh, De uh, Deanna and Sarah. And, and then I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to, to sound off as well. For people that are watching tonight and people that will be watching this, there'll be a few thousand over the next couple of weeks. They're, they're listening to this, they're watching, they're looking at, and they're going, first of all, I'm identifying with the story. I'm being moved by the experience. I'm at the holy jumping off place. I'd like to take the giant leap of faith and begin this, but I'm not sure that this could work for me. What might you say to them to give them some hope? Just do it. Yeah, it absolutely can. Yeah, I remember, um, uh, you can't be a cherry picker with summit like you got to be all in or all out it just doesn't work um if you're doing it halfway uh, and take that from someone who's been in the fetal position uh our, our our salon has not always been this this um profitable and whatever i mean we've always been blessed for sure but it, it has been a journey so yeah. you, you, so I'm when I'm I'm sure I'm going to be barraged by it's going to probably blow up my you know my uh, private message box and messenger and Instagram direct message. I'm going to refer these people to you and and then they can they can pick up where we left off. We'll, and we've posted some of your uh, 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 links on on uh, our comment boxes tonight, so that that that's going to work. Do the other three want to say anything in terms of what what? what you can say to, you know, to inspire and encourage people, especially people coming in right out of high school and not sure, and they're going, this this has got me written all over it. Could, could this work as well for me? What might you say to them? Um, definitely what Deanna and Sarah said, just do it. You know, find, um, you know, if this is the industry that you're interested in, find a salon that implements the summit model and has a great, um, associate or apprentice program and structure and right with this yeah. with structure and just dive in and do it and soak it up and enjoy it and, and this and, is an awesome ride and remember and i always tell everyone especially my educators within the salon the apprentices and the associates are not assistants no. they are there to grow the educator as well as the educator is there to grow them if they look at these apprentices and associates as their way to grow themselves, it is then an assistant program, and right. I do not agree with it. 
right, you were no. there. Right. I, I would say Genesis is as much about academy, an, an academy, a college, a university to transform people as it is a salon spa business. So kudos. Absolutely. We are running way over time. Deanna, I uh, never run over time. Sarah, I never do, but you guys were so freaking <laughs> awesome that I, I wanted to do it. So I'm going to let you all go, but you're going to promise me you'll come back uh, next year for an encore, especially when these uh, these uh, two yes. prodigies that are with you tonight are well on to the tra trajectory of being uh, in L5 with their other homie that's sitting in the group as well. So. <laughs> Um, thank you very much for coming on. You did a wonderful job. You crushed it. And uh, we're going to give it up for you one more time. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later. We'll talk soon. Bye. 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 Give it up, you guys. That was uh, nothing short of amazing. Now, uh, I'm very... They're, uh, they're truly innov innovators, they're pioneers, and they're incubating this program that, uh, it, you know, that, that you really can't Google this. You, you, you basically, they're, they're flying the airplane, um, you know, as they're building it. So uh, the, 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 there will be more to come here on, on uh, what they're doing. We're going to have them back next year uh, on, on the, uh, on, uh, for, for a, uh, an encore to kind of, by then they will have blueprinted their scaffolding and there'll be more to follow. But I think it was just a, a, a great example. And as Randy Kunkel was saying, an example of w why not jump in head first. So uh, if you're new to us, Michael Cole Summit Facebook, th this is the channel that you're on. This was our second interview this week. This particular uh, platform has now really become a learning channel for summit salon spas on that are really want to use social media, uh, digital marketing and branding to really blow up their clientele. So hang out with us. You, if you hit that same handle, that'll take you to the Instagram page, uh, Michael Cole Summit. And we now have dedicated IGTV. Uh, we, we take like the interview tonight, we'll probably cook that down to a five, six, seven minute interview. And we call it micro learning. We'll place it uh, on our IGTV so that you can uh, really listen to the highlights of it or, or watch the highlights of it. So take us up on that offering. You should be on summitsalon.com. These are the two newest uh, resources that are really uh, kind of driving the way for those salons and service providers that want to use the Internet, specifically social media, uh, Instagram, to blow up their income. It's called the Social uh, Media, Social Digital Script Guide, and this is called the Social Digital Planner. When you get on the .com, you can actually watch some tutorials on what, how do you use them and how the people tonight that you saw uh, use them every day. If you talk to some of the people, they'll say that those are, those are their, uh, their two go-tos. Um, uh, you can watch all of our lives on uh, uh, the Summit YouTube uh, page as well as uh, we now have a, 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 another .com called Summit, uh, Summit Salon 365, which is basically our Netflix, some of our higher end production value videos that you can either experience as a, uh, a, you know, a streaming video or even use it as a podcast for a nominal fee. Get enrolled in that as well. Um, we have a number of ways that we are working uh, on the uh, internet now, you doing what we would call digital training. We have a salon spa owner social media consulting service. We have a social media virtual coaching. Uh, you can get a complimentary one hour consultation to see how this works. We, we have consulting services that can target uh, various goals in the salon. So we are doing so much on uh, so uh, digital, uh, online. So get involved in that. And like I said, take us up on that opportunity. And you can do that by going to uh, summitsalon.com as well and, and download any of our flyers uh, uh, or our, all of our S, uh, SSBC solutions as well. Mobile calcs now on our .com to set up your, what do I want to take home a year? And they break it down to a day goal uh, for you as well. We have, for those of you that uh, need some sort of tracking, we have a digital tracker, and this is all compliments, you guys. 
So this is something, resources, digital tools, you should be taken care of. We have something that you, every time I do a dot com, you can see my, my tea tonight is a Gen, Gen C, which is like the newest generation. Uh, I, I'm, a, I've got, I'm a baby boomer bod, but inside of my baby boomer bod is a millennial mind. So it's new tea. Every week we come out, we do a different T-shirt. Uh, you can order it on uh, mctattees.com. I think we're even running a kind of a Black Friday special. And all of the proceeds uh, of, of that uh, really go to a, a nonprofit uh, literacy for uh, kindergarten, first, second graders. They help them get off to a, a, a great start. So it's a good cause. Shop till you drop there. You'll love the uh, you'll love all the art that we put on the tees. Um, that we are sponsored by L'Oreal PPD. These are their brands. We got Baxter of California, Matrix, Mazzani, Biolage, Essie. Pulp Ride is our latest, greatest. Purology, Kerastase, Redken, L'Oreal Professional, and Shoe. When you use these brands, they support our sponsor, and our sponsor can support us in the work that we're doing. So thank you kindly, uh, L'Oreal uh, Professional Product Division. We are their business, uh, salon business partner, uh, SSBC Summit Salon Business Center. If you haven't had somebody from our company come in and do a complimentary scorecard, make sure you do that. It's been a great show. I think we made history tonight. I think you're going to give it up for Genesis one more time. And we will see you next week.